Alrighty, so I got the new tires, bearings packed on the other trailer out there. Pulled it all week long. I was unloading the Ranger uh, two or three times a day, sometimes over this past week throughout the uh, Thanksgiving break because I did a bunch of fertilizer and just a whole bunch of stuff with it. And uh, the aggravation factor of loading and unloading on that trailer was just a little too high for me because it was taking me too much time to load and unload and time is something that i just do not have even to deal with loading and unloading because what what would happen was is if the if the ranger moved left or right any even though i had it strapped down on the front it made it difficult for me trying to get it off of it so what i did was i was in a bind i went this is a big text trailer this is just something to get me by for uh this is a six and a half foot wide it's 12 foot long it's actually a pretty nice trailer as far as the build quality on it, there was there's a big text dealer uh, around, so I went to them. They had it in stock, so I bought it. Paid uh, this in here was uh, like fifteen hundred or so without tax. It's got a long gate on it, spring assist. It's got full lights on it, which I like. Thirty five hundred pound axles. It does have a bearing buddy on it. The greasable ones right here. I think it does. Let's so, see. Yeah, it does. Only thing some people pointed out in the in my video in the right is getting grease to the inside uh, bearing over there. You got to pump this thing full, and then if you pump it too full, it'll want to push out the seal when it when you're going down the road when it gets warm. So I will still continue to uh, pull them off. I'll fix that with a screwdriver in just a second. Pull them off and check them all that because i don't trust the bearing buddy because you don't know how much grease you push across the other side at least the way i do it i know i got it all right so a couple things that i don't like about the trailer right off the bat good built trailer blah 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 good welding job on it too uh the paint is really good i'm a stickler for the paint on this new stuff a lot of it's just junk but this one here is okay i don't like the two top not sure why they chose to run a two top on these for like this it is what it is i could easily change it out and put an angle iron or a uh, square tube top on it would be nothing to do it because they've only got it tacked on the top of the fenders right there is off so it'd be easy to get it off right there i can live with that that's okay the thing about having it like this is is on the angle iron you can catch it with a hook anywhere on it you want to and strap something down with this here you got to loop it around it or catch it on this thing line here it does have some tie down points there and on the back and under the tongue the absolute biggest thing that i don't like about this trailer is is the length of the tongue that's a three foot it's three foot from the center to right there it needs to be a minimum of four foot uh and all that's that's fine what i'm gonna do is i'll do something later on different i am gonna keep this trailer because another reason i bought it zero turn to go up on it very easily put it up on there be if i want to move my zero turn somewhere else and do something else it'd be really quick to throw it up on this one i can pull it with pull this with any vehicle you know small truck jeep anything Hook it behind the ranger, pull it, and all that good stuff like that. So for what I paid for it and the quality, the build quality of it, it's okay. I don't like the jack on it either. I'd rather have a wheel on the bottom of it. I will probably take that jack off or I'm going to do something completely different uh, with it. Probably going to take it off and put a jack on the side here that flips up. It's got a wheel on it. That's what I prefer because you only got to crank it just a little bit, flip it up, take it all down the road with it. You're good to go. The reason I don't like the tongue, it, that needs to be four foot. My other one is four foot. It's actually four and a half foot. It gets it off the vehicle. I mean, it's just sitting, it's just jammed right up against the back of the truck. I mean, when you let the tailgate down, the tailgate is nearly up against the jack right there, which I'll show that in just a second because I, I got a new ball on the receiver. I'm going to end up going to a little bit different receiver. I got to reach out and uh, to a company 
about that and talk to them about that. My other ball, I had wore my other ball slap out. It makes two balls I've done wore out. So I went and got a new ball last night to go on there. I uh, got it with a spare. It's got a spare tire carrier welded to it right there, which I thought was uh, pretty good. So I'm gonna go over it with the impact on the wheel nuts. I've already pulled this thing about 300 miles this week already with the Ranger on it. And uh, loading and unloading on this one is simple. Very, very simple. You still, even with it being six and a half foot wide, you've got enough room to get off the Ranger between the rail and but you still don't have a lot of room because i mean right there's the tire track right there so i mean you you don't have a lot uh to play right there even even with this trailer so i took like i said it's a big tex trailer they, they didn't give it to me or nothing like that i paid for it i took all their lettering off of it a while ago painful the glue was really painful i tried two or three things i used a heat gun to get it to release and then peeled it off of course they still left the glue on there I tried two or three things to get the uh, get the glue off, and what finally got the glue off was gasoline-soaked rags got the glue off. I didn't like that yellow on there where it said Big Tex. Like I said, they, they, I'm not advertising for them or anything, but as far as a a just a bought built trailer. You can't go wrong with this right here. It's going to be better than the Lowe's or the dang uh, uh, tractor supply. Those things, man, you look at them, they're, they're, they're not nothing to them. And there are a lot more. I mean, some of the ones at Lowe's I looked at were like, or that I've glanced at, they're like $1,700, $1, $1,900 for that. And you don't, I mean, you don't get the light, the LED lights all the way around it. Like, it's even full lights on the back. The gate is easy to get up and down. The spring assist on the bottom of it there. So I'm gonna turn my truck around back in here. I'm gonna put the uh, receiver hitch in and install that right quick. The reason I'm gonna do something different with the receiver hitch, that's a four inch drop. I actually need a, about a six inch drop to get it sitting level, it's sitting a little bit high on the front like that. And uh, I've never had any problem till or with any of my trailers. Even on my long trailer out there, the the one I've been pulling, uh, you know, it's uh, it's set it's set level even with the four inch drop on it. So I'm going to uh, get a little bit more of a drop there, and y'all will see what I'm going to do on that. Uh, I'll show you later. And all I got to uh, I'm gonna rub the boards down with burnt motor oil. Go ahead and coat them real good. I've got a bucket over here of that stuff and a mop put it on there and uh where they'll where they'll be situated there too i may go ahead and do that and let it sit there out there in the sun and the wind where it'll soak on into it real good but uh let's hook up to it real quick Like I said a while ago, I want to do something completely different with this right here. You can still move the trailer around it's pretty easy with even with that flat foot on it, but I'm not a fan of having to run this jack all the way up. going to change this plug out to a uh, seven-way round just so I don't have to use a four-way flat I just plug in that's a better plug right there because I can't stand four-way flat so that's it hooked up it really needs to come down another inch maybe two inches I like my stuff level. So let's see what the lights on. All right, 
right, let's load the Ranger up on there. I'll show y'all what it looks like. So I think probably an inch more drop on it. If I wanted a five inch, it would be fine. I think the uh, seven inch would be a little too much there. And there's a lot of stuff available out there now to help that out. This adjustable that you can adjust and makes it very simple. I think that's what I'll go with, so five inch, I believe, because that's a four inch drop that's on there. I've had that thing, man, since back in the 90s, that drop right there. So it's time to time to swap that dude out. But you can see uh, you got uh, you got about this much room. I'm a little bit closer on this side right there. As you can see, a little bit off center, not bad. But uh, look at Tater. He's the leader of Tater Nation, ain't you, buddy? Man, he loves that thing. So I got my seat cushions all on there to. For him, so I don't have to worry about my seats or anything. If his paws are muddy or something like that, it's all good. It ain't gonna hurt him with his claws or nothing. But uh, so I went over everything. If y'all ever get a new trailer or anything, go over the after you pull it just a little bit. Go over the lug nuts. The lug nuts need to be they need to be retorqued. I mean, every all every one of them was off on it. So I went over them. But these got a little bit of adjustment in them there. Uh, tight, made sure those were snug down. Go over all that stuff, man. Don't just pull it down the road. It kills me the people that have trailers and stuff that just pull them and they just hook to them and they never pay any attention to anything on them, whether they're, you know, the air pressure, all that stuff like that, man. You see, I see so many of them sitting on the side of the road, changing tires, changing flats, bearings, all that mess like that right there. But again, I, I won't, <laughs> I wish it was a foot another foot <laughs> oh, get that it get that trailer back off the truck i don't know why they go with a three foot which i mean listen i can easily change that no problem though probably won't do it right now or anything because i don't have time to fool with it during hunting season but i can take this trailer and i take my mini or my tractor either one and i can flip this trailer over just like that in my shop and I can put another tongue on it just like that what I want so this is gonna be a perfect just kind of a get by uh, didn't cost me too much like I said 1500 and uh, that was without tax it, uh, it is gonna work good for that and because uh, I mean I had to ask something this this right here was no longer going to work what I'm gonna do with this trailer I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna rough it up a little bit i'm gonna shoot it with another coat of paint and uh fix her up repaint her get the brand new tires on it everything's good to go on it new lights all that and i may part ways with it uh i may part ways with it. it's a 61 almost 62 inches wide it's 50, full, 50, full 15 foot long is what it is two foilers will go on that one it's three inch channel three inch channel on it main frame all the cross members are on two foot centers they're two inch channel that's what they are the tongue on it goes through the neck and ties into this one that cross member right there is what it does so anyhow what you want to do day tater you want to go kill something hmm? Hmm? boy he gets so excited riding on that thing i've got some more new stuff coming for this thing this week i think y'all are going to be going to be very exciting to uh see it kind of transform some more i like the 570 it's got plenty of power to do what i want to do with it uh, runs out very well don't burn any gas i have been 40 miles and I'm right out of half a tank of gas right now on it. So I'm I'm ecstatic about that. I could not do that on my 700 that's sitting over on the other side of my Jeep. It 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 burned a good bit more gas than what this thing does. But uh so yeah, man. Tater's Tater approves of it. He likes it too. So I'm gonna cut this camera off right now and I'm gonna try to see if I can think of anything else that I need to discuss or anything and then we'll uh, I'll wrap this video up then.
So one really cool thing about this truck here, it's got airbags on it so I can drop them. Let's go back here and see what it looks like when it drops. See it's letting down now. One inch will be perfect on that. So if I go with uh, what I'm looking at wanting to get, I want to get that nice B&W hitch and they got it in a five inch drop and it comes with the two balls. It's the one that the ball slip over and then you can adjust the height of it up and down and then it can flip back up underneath it. That's the one I want to go with. Big John's got one of them on his truck and uh, one inch will be perfect. So five inch, that'll be right, right there. And uh, so I forgot about having the bags on that thing. Let's see here. Let's air them back up now. See it lift. If you pull stuff, I'm gonna tell y'all something. The, the airbags don't help on a bare bones ride on a truck, but if you pull stuff all the time, trailers, especially goosenecks, get you some airbags installed on your truck and go ahead and spend the money and get the ones that you can adjust from in the cab on remote control that it has its own compressor and everything on it. I promise you, Promise you, promise you, promise you, you will not be disappointed. It is so much better pulling with the airbags. It is, it is crazy. It is, it is worth what they cost to get them on there. This truck here, Ram offers an option to get them on there like that, and I ordered this truck with them on there, and I do not regret it at all. So uh, the tires on it, they're, uh, they're, they're just El Cheapo tires <laughs> called Good Ride. They're probably made by Goodyear. <laughs> Good Ride. But they're uh, they're 50 pound tires too, so uh, they're they're true trailer trailer tires, brand new tires also for on that trailer. So uh, all right, this is it strapped down. I'm gonna catch it right there in the back of the frame too, and come to right here. I'm gonna cut these straps off too, and we'll go ahead and these are just 10 foot straps, so I'm probably gonna cut them about right in there and burn them, and then that way I won't have to. Uh, worry with uh tying the ends of them up or anything and i did the same thing over here on this side it'll be pulling it down on the front because what's happening up here is is when i hit bumps these bolts right here are coming down far enough to where they're hitting that two right there so i've got uh big john got me a whole roll of old fire hose uh last year i believe or earlier this year and I'm about to take and put a piece of that old fire hose. I'm going to split it and put it uh, all the way across here. So it kind of protect this tube up here and protect the bottom of those bolts. So it kind of give it a little cushion when it, when it flakes. But it's not going to, it's still going to flex down, but it's not going to be as bad as when I had it strapped right there down here. And that'll give it two straps, one on each side, so the machine doesn't, try to move left or right because that was one thing that was messing me up on the other trailer and see just like right here i'm not centered i'm a little bit closer on this side over here but that gives me a little bit more room on this side to be able to get in and out and all that and uh so this like i say all the time this dog's gonna hunt he will not get down off of that seat or anything up he will not get down and i like that because if I want to leave him, I can just leave him and he will stay there. And I don't have to worry about him, me having to find him or anything like that or getting into something that he shouldn't be because when he hits the ground, he's hunting. He's And that's what he's supposed to do. But uh, so he's a good he's a good little dog. Uh, you know, good little tater dog. Talked to Jason the other day. Those of y'all who watch Hollis Farms, Jason don't live just a few miles from here. Uh, he's got another Jag that's kind of a cousin to my dog and his dog. And her name's Sadie. Y'all probably seen her in some of the videos, his videos. Uh, I'm going to get her from him and work her with Tater a little bit. I want to mess with Sadie some. And uh, so uh, 
I'm gonna holler at Jason here in a little bit and see if I can get up with him and go pick uh, maybe go pick Sadie up where I can where I can work with her some too there. So just cut the straps and burn them so now they can just hang there and I don't have to tie them up or anything. One thing that makes this accentuates the height being up on this when I'm in the shop right here. You see there's a drop out there down. It's probably an inch and a half or so, so it makes it, it exaggerates it a little bit more than what it actually really is. So, uh, just thought about that, but, uh, yeah, man. So, got that done. All right, this is pretty scary. It's going to delay the video getting published, but I've had me a brainstorm. I know, very, very scary for me. Hang tight, I'm going to show you here. It's going to work. Y'all check this out here. Unless that's gonna hit that. Tell you what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the handle off. I'm gonna leave the handle off of it there, I think. And no, I'll leave it on there. I'll leave it on there. As long as I'm using it. Be fine. What I can do, I can take. No, that's bread. I don't know. All right. Love it when a plan comes together right there. It's going to keep me running wine and unwind that thing because i've always got an impact with me so what i did was i just welded a piece i cut a piece of half inch uh coal roll right there and just welded a three-quarter nut on the top of it put it on there with the, the thing i have been contemplating doing that same thing on my gooseneck and using that impact to run my gooseneck up and down with too uh i'm gonna do that now because it works so well on this right here that's the bomb.com right there boys there's an old guy down there in Moultrie, Georgia, down there out of Moultrie. <laughs> that does his name's Al Daniels. <laughs> He's going to love this right here or whatever. He uh, met him down there. And uh, he, he's going he's gonna to love this right here. So uh, that's it. Put the fire hose up here on it. Got it zip tied to it. I uh, just put a coat of uh, burnt motor oil and diesel fuel get asked a lot about the ratio of that what to what to do what to use and uh it's just it don't have to be exact or anything i pretty much use about two gallons i mix about two gallons of of uh motor oil about a gallon of diesel fuel perfect got it sitting in the sun it'll be it'll be done see this is already done dried right there see it's already done dry so you won't even get anything a lot of people say you will get that stuff but once it once it dries you won't get you won't even get any on you or anything that's the best way to protect the trailer deck even if it's oak or treated or anything put it on there man the water sheds right off of it works really really good because i'm gonna take it this afternoon and, and haul the ranger on it to hunt on it so i got it sitting here in the direct sun right now to uh dry this out and it's uh, it's 12 o'clock right now straight up go in and get this video ready publish it for y'all to viewing pleasure get that done so there you go all right so last but not least what i'm gonna do is is for everybody that made an order for the month of november and whoever makes orders in the month of december all the way up to about the 20th of december i'm gonna put together one big prize pack of stuff uh some stuff from me and some rotobeck merchandise and everything like that so uh and then i'm gonna draw a winner from all of those orders 
and I'll do it on the 20th and I'll look to see when it is there when the 20th falls and you should get it right there at uh, you know at Christmas right before it or right after it something like that and I think that'll be good so like I said I'll just pick from the entries I have a few things that I'm out of not much though I mean it's not bad the beanies are uh, Richardson beanies also beanies are very very nice I wear mine just about every day during the winter, winter time uh, so anyhow I'll do that kind of up the ante a little bit I have a little bit of everything kind of mixed in it and I'm not sure what all I will uh what all I'm gonna put in it but it's gonna be it's gonna be a good bit of stuff it'll be worth your while so uh hope all y'all have a great Sunday and uh have enjoyed your Thanksgiving holiday so I'm gonna jump in here and get this video put together real quick and get her done and uh We'll catch y'all later. Later, taters. Hey, oh, 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 I've got the long sleeve orange shirts. They're on the west site now. So uh, if you're interested, if you want the long sleeve pocket ones, they're on there. You can get them. So we'll catch y'all later. Later, taters. Couldn't see you in the video anyhow. Right there, what you were doing. <laughs> so you, you still in the video. <laughs>